what I, today what we're going to show you is how to take out your points, adjust them, and install them. Uh, this is a standard distributor. They, they used about 10 different distributors over the years. They're all about the same. Uh, there's two clips to hold the cap on, so you take both these clips off and then remove your cap and then inside you'll see the points, the condenser and the rotor and uh, to get at the at the points you have to pull the rotor off which just slides off and then inside there's two different style points uh, this style here is called the eccentric type there's two screws one to hold it down and then the other one uh, adjusts your points there's another style that uses a, a notch it's a little rare but uh, you just stick the end of a screwdriver tip in, in the end of it to adjust your points in and out. Uh, what I'll do is I'll show you how to remove them. Uh, the first thing you do is there's a screw on, a, on this breaker plate here that holds all your wires together and then holds the points uh, where the power comes in. And you just undo that screw And once that's loose, these wires will come off, as you can see here. And then the next thing you'll do is, this screwdriver I have, it, it has a spread tip that you can adjust it in and out to hold the, the screw from falling into your distributor. You put that on there, and then you'll tighten it up. And then you'll just undo the screw. And as you see, it'll pull it out and it'll hold the, the screw on the screwdriver. And then uh, once that's done, you can just, sometimes you might have to get a screwdriver or something to pry on it a little bit because of the tension. Now that the points are off, I could show you the difference between uh, a good set of points and a bad set of points. Uh, this is a brand new set in my left hand here and then this is a an old set as you can see the the contact parts are all corroded and that happens from one age you know being used and two from letting the key on you can burn the points if they're closed now putting them back together is just the reverse of taking them apart you slide it over the stud and then you got to get you got to get this little tab into that bracket again and just push it down in and it just slides right in and then uh, put your wire to your co to your coil and then the wire to the condenser back in there and then you tighten it back up after you get all your wires back on the one from the condenser and then the one that goes out to your coil and then this tension spring then you tighten back up this bolt and then you take your screw that you took out and put it back in to hold the points in but you do not tighten them all the way you just put a little bit of tension on it because you got to adjust your points first now as you as you can see on this on this uh, distributor here there's four lobes because this is a four cylinder and you put put your points on the highest part of the lobe and then when you adjust it you'll take your screw and you adjust it in and out you know to get your proper setting which is twenty thousandths and you use your feeler gauge which is right here I have a feeler gauge and you just stick your feeler gauge in between there and then you adjust your your eccentric screw you know in or out you know to get it to where it's at the proper proper setting like right there's the proper setting after that you'll tighten your your uh, hold down screw tight and once it's tight you check your adjustment again to make sure that it didn't move when you tightened it up and that's all it's to it you put your rotor and your cap back on it and should fire right up.